KCB Bank, Toyota Kenya, Safaricom and Kenya Airways have partnered with Safari Rally Kenya to hold the World Rally event that begins on the 22nd to the 25th of June. Each partner has his own objective on the event to make sure it runs incredibly. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs led by Honorable Ababu Namwamba today held a breakfast meeting with sponsors to make sure their objective aligned with the ministry's expectations. Here are the details. With the World Rally Championship beginning on 22nd to 25th June, today the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, led by Cabinet Secretary Ababu Namwamba, met with the corresponding sponsors who stepped in to make sure the event runs smoothly. Ababu held a meeting with the representatives from Safaricom, KCB, Kenya Airways and Toyota so as to make sure their goals align with the ministry's expectations. On behalf of David Kome, the Inspector General of the National Police Service, Police Officer David Kabiru assured everyone that the National Police Service is ready to deliver a world-class security on the event and make a good environment for everyone to enjoy rally in Nakuru County. This rally is looked for the 22nd of June up to the 27th of June in Nakuru County, but before that we start in Nakuru. That's in Nakuru County. This year will be the first time the battery has been here since the rally was started in Kenya. And the same security officer in Kenya, the rally will be and we are showing the notice for that. We shall deliver the event allowing you to enjoy the great Kenya experience. The security officer. The team will be deployed to observe the key measures that will be put in the place to ensure that the security is order. We will be confident that we shall be able to deliver a world classic security marking 20 years of our anniversary. Earlier, KCB came through for the rally event as sponsors and put 150 million, whereby 100 million will cater for the World Rally Championship and 50 million will cater for drivers. Today, KCB promised to ensure that rally is about the people and that they will be so keen in nurturing young drivers until they put them on the map. So I think I was asked to mention, you know, what are some of my expectations. Um, for us, it's really ensuring that this rally is about the people. Um, we're really happy that the launch is being taken to Uhuru Park. I'm just making it a lot more open. Um, we are very keen in nurturing drivers. Um, and supporting and that you know has been what we have been for the last 20 years and also the three drivers that we are putting on I wish we could do more but I hope the opportunities will come in where we can also support more drivers. Over years rally and lost its value in the country but since KCB came in as major sponsors it has been revived back. Toyota Kenya, now known as Sifao, represented by Daniel Maundu, who is the general manager, expressed his gratitude to be associated with Safari Lari, Kenya, due to their good result over years. Maundu noted the key areas of improvement of this year's rally event, which are traffic control as fans access the venue and the safety and crowd First, control in the venues. We are proud to be associated with the WRC event. Safari Lari Kenya, and since it came back, we have been very excited because of two reasons. Number one, just like we have done previously, we will continue the sponsorship. Phineas and your team, we assure you, will continue the sponsorship, not only this year, but going forward. After the fifth session, I think we should uh, fight to get it back here for good and we'll continue sponsorship. What do we expect? From experience, there have been a few areas that we think can be improved. And the first area has always been traffic control as we access uh, the venues. Over years, it has been a major challenge as fans are limited to access venues due to congestion on the roads heading to the venues. On our side, the representative from Wildlife Research Institute of Naivasha, where rally will take place, saying that they are ready to support in giving access to rally drivers and any other logistical support required on the ground. And uh, we pledge to support in giving access to the rally drivers and any other kind of logistical support on the ground uh, that you may require. So thank you very much.
and welcome once more. Finally, the cabinet secretary Ababu Namwamba thanked everyone who has partnered with the rally and those proud of their heritage. Namwamba vowed to bring a top-notch event with high standards since the ministry is critical to deliver a rally like no other. In Oten that event will be a money-making event since they will allow business people to carry out businesses around on the Aslas Bazaar and traders will interact with the spots. But this morning, we are here to celebrate partnerships because the one thing that is part of the legacy of running is the spirit of partnerships coming together to deliver this. And that is why we have come together to thank those who are partnering with us this year for this platinum um, anniversary, but who are also actually part of this proud history. It is absolutely critical that we deliver a rally like no other for the last We have uh, put in place what we believe to be a good package. I really want to thank everybody who is part of the planning process. I want to thank our steering committee, which I chair myself, the local organizing committee, which is chaired by another rallying legend, Carl Flash Tundo, and the secretariat that is headed by yet another legend, Phineas Kimathi here, and all of us that are part of these preparations. 